All right, y'all. Here are eight ways women will try to manipulate men. Let's get into it. Number one, crying. Using your feelings for her against you. Number three, guilt tripping you. Number four, passive aggressiveness. I am the problem. I went on a date with this guy and he was like, it's getting late. Do you want to come back to my place? And I was like, sure, but I'm not going to sleep with you. Like, that's not happening. And he was like, that's totally fine. Just come over. And I was like, cool. So I go to his place. He respects my wishes. He's so nice. He cuddles me all night. And I'm like... These white women, they saw the vision. Yep. They like, look, I, I see where this is going. I studied this. Kevin Samuels already exposed how yep. they have courses and shit. Yes. They're reading books and shit on how to get these type of men. They actually work to get these men. They know. Oh, man. Oh, man. This your fucking Can you turn man. my mic up? I can't hear myself. Hey, can you? Oh, Amen. Amen. Yeah. Check, check. Oh, all right, there we go. Good, there, there you go. go. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, my man, my man over there, boy. <laughs> Look at the hunger. You all right over there? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, boy, y'all missed it, boy. See, they got me over here like Don Cheadle. Oh, boy. my I'm God. Just <laughs> Listen. Oh, man. <laughs> this your podcast, y'all. Welcome, podcast. welcome, He's welcome. He's dying, and the show in ain't the even building. start yet. Yeah, you know I man. And we are here. Yeah, I mean, another episode. Over here. You know, let's get to the introduction, man. Lost oh, the Dark gosh. Gable. Yeah, I mean, got my man over there. Listen, you already know, it's your boy CJ. I, yeah, I do a lot, but I ain't never doing the most. Yeah. Yes, and y'all know who that is right there. Miss Honey Dip. Miss Honey Dip. Yeah. You know what I mean? Spicy, hot, no, sizzling. No, 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 no. Fajita. No. <laughs> Sweet. Sweet. Yeah. Not sweet and sour. No, 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 no. Sweet sriracha. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, welcome to this show podcast, y'all. We got a great show for y'all tonight. As usual, we got the five videos to react to. One full hour, we got you. Sit back, enjoy the show. You know what I'm saying? Listen, it's kind of kind of stormy out tonight, kind of misty yeah. rain. You yeah, know, especially over here in Philly. You know, pull up your little your nice favorite blanket, cuddle yeah. up in your, on your on your nice favorite chair. Yeah, I mean, for the next hour and some change, rock out with us. And make Sit. sure you like, comment, and if we start internet thugging, I'm 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 in the chat with y'all and, and, and subscribe. subscribe. That's right. Definitely. Sit your five dollar ass down before we make change. No, before you make change. Yeah. Before <laughs> I make change. <laughs> don't make them relapse on these hoes. Don't make me relapse. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> don't hate. I don't, don't ever hate. hate. I don't ever hate. Don't hate. You know, listen, it's at one time or another in your life, you mm. was relapsing on them jokes. <laughs> Ain't that right? Might no, still be relapsing on them jokes. Oh, damn. <laughs> no. I, I When I was in the game, I was in the game. When I'm out, I'm out. I'm out, you out. Okay, let us see. Every time I try to get out, they pull me back in. No, let me, all right, let us see your DMs. <laughs> yeah, I can yeah. show you right now. Y'all want to y'all wanna read them? Yes, let's see your DMs. And my text messages. I'll show y'all. No, your mind text y'all. messages. Get mind right <laughs> She was downstairs trying to go through her phone, so I think she had already deleted them. But First I digress. All, she got two phones on Kevin Gates. Yeah, two phones. You know what I saying? don't have anything to hide. Oh, man. At all. Nothing. That's I just like when somebody say, no disrespect, they about to disrespect you. Yeah, yeah like you. Anyway. Like you, CJ, that's one of your Any, lines. Anyway. Oh, so lines, hold up. Before CJ. we get started, listen, how was your Mother's Day? My Mother's Day was great. It was it was relaxing. I just stayed in the house. Oh, and I went to the gym, and that was it. Yep. That was it. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. Like my kids are old. Like you know, they got oh. their own lives, and I got mine. You know, I feel you. I, I feel you. I fig I figured deal you. She knew she went out. She got I that, did. She got that honey dip. Yeah, she didn't want you until the yeah, yeah, that's what I did not. That's what any, anyway, shall we shall we, shall we go to the first video? Shall we, shall we slide Ooh, to the first video? Yes. All yeah. right, so listen up. First who, who video. Trying to, who trying to take honey dip out, honey dip out to dinner? Which one of y'all? DM's about, about to, to be flooded. Oh, oh Lord. Put it in the chat. Come, boy. Put it in the chat. Put it in the chat. And free to mingle. Me and Losa pay for it. Watch, watch the chat go crazy. Yeah, Wait, who? <laughs> chat gonna fly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, first video. A woman says she has eight dirty ways women try to manipulate men. Credit goes to love Samantha Lee. 
Yeah, the creator of this video. All I was trying to do is dirty. You know what I'm saying? Why Why do they want to do men dirty all the time? Is the same but way anyway, y'all men do us women no, dirty? Oh, my no. God. Here we go. Them yep, little peanuts yep, are yep, yep, it's fishy. <laughs> Never want to take accountability. Never want to oh. take accountability. <laughs> Uh, you know, you done threw me all down. I can't even hit the let's go yet. You know what I'm saying? Look, let's go. Oh, okay. I got you. Okay, let me go in. <laughs> all right, y'all. Here are eight ways women will try to manipulate men. Let's get into it. Number one, crying. Using your feelings for her against you. Number three, guilt tripping you. Number four, passive aggressiveness. Number five, silent treatment. Number six, complimenting you excessively. Number seven, ultimatums. And number eight, sex. Damn, that the A part was the killer. Those shots fired. <laughs> I, I, I agree about seven of them. Oh, I, I agree. Playing. Yeah, I mean, not to say that I do it. Yeah. I mean, I just have like a natural charm. Oh like, my! I never God. have to manipulate no man. Jeez. So, so what? All right, now let me ask you: Has so have you ever so had so to withhold yams, yams <laughs> <laughs> from a man, like? Using them as a you punishment? Did. You, you hesitated. You did. No, not as a punishment. If I'm not giving it to you, I'm just not giving it to you. Ain't Whoa. because of no punishment. So you just don't give it because you don't want to give just it? Just because I just don't want to give what it. What in the It ain't got nothing previous. to do with it. I mean, I know women do stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, I don't use that. Like, um, the whole crying thing. Like, what? I ain't sitting here crying for no damn man for you to turn around and talk about me and laugh. Nope, nope. You're not going to play with my emotions. I'd rather you cry than not give me the yams. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you don't deserve, as you say, but the you, yams, you're not getting the yams. But you said it's, you it's don't need a simple. reason. You said you might just not give it to him not to not give it to him. Exactly. So. That's what I'm saying. But why so would if, you not give it to him if they ain't doing that? Because not, if I'm not in the mood or shall whoa. I say, I wouldn't say not in the mood. Let's just yeah. say if I don't feel like you deserve it. No, you ain't getting nothing from me because my thing is this is it's psychological for me. So I gotta be able to connect mm. with you mentally for me to even enjoy the moment. Yeah, yeah. So let's just put it that way. Yeah. Well, I mean, listen, I'm not. I know <laughs> some women who have actually, you know, used that as a punishment. I'm sure you know, they on, do. on a man, and I'd be like, "Yo, your man must be a fool because ain't no <laughs> hell." You can, <laughs> you know, what I mean, I'm, I'm falling for that. <laughs> You hey. can try. <laughs> you don't want to give me the, the yams. Okay, so, you know, go get the greens if it's my man, that's well. something different. Now, you know, did I ever? No, I wouldn't say when he's my man, I, I withheld it. So what I was just talking about was just like a dude that I'm talking to. But my man is like a little different. So I wouldn't say I withhold it, but I'm just may not going to be, I guess, as freaky as normal. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's get, okay. Let's get deep now. <laughs> yeah. <I'm saying. laughs> Stay like, yeah. the they are your one. It's the Mother's Day edition. Stay they are your one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Hurry up. <laughs> Hurry up. Let me you want me to turn over? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, look, so let's go. Let's go to the comments. So one comment says, I always fall for number eight. So what number eight was the, the sex. withhold the sex part. Yep. You know what I mean? So it, Comment. Why would you always fall for number eight, man? You, uh, Especially when you know that's that's you being used as a tool. Like, yeah. come on, grow up. That's when you take that thing out and hit her in the forehead. <laughs> I'm just cussing. Uh, You're not doing that to me. Boy, like, she go to sleep. Boy, pop. that thing be all on her head. Like, pop, 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 pop. Look, yeah. I've been slapped in the face a couple oh, times. Oh, <laughs> spicy. <laughs> spicy at the door. He <laughs> 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 like... Yeah, that could have been in you, but you chose otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> now, you sit there with attitude. You think about your decisions. You, just made. <laughs> you think about what you said last oh, night. <laughs> so listen, second comment. Second comment is, my ex did all of those except for compliment me excessively or a little at all. You know, I, know about that. I, I mean, I mean, because I give I give people compliments on a regular, then that has nothing to do with trying to get my way or anything like that. That's just me, who I am. No, so I don't. I don't agree with that one. I know a lot of women. The 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 withhold thing. I don't know too many women that do that. But that comment thing, yeah, that's that that's a real thing. I know a lot of women mm -hmm. that will try to butter you up. Oh. Oh, look at your chest. Oh, you went to the gym? Oh, let me touch it. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I see that all the time. So, fellas, be aware of that. Yeah, don't fall for the compliments. Mm -hmm. don't yeah, but also at the same time, realize or know the person that you're dealing with. If that's part of like her 
language and the way she speaks. A love language? Exactly. That they may not necessarily mean but that you she's know trying the to difference. manipulate you. You know That's the what difference. I'm saying. Know who you're dealing with. Or if she just as you know, some random Tuesday you coming from the gym and she's like, Ooh, babe, I see your nipples through your shirt, then it's like, all right, cool. But if you know y'all just was beefing and she come, Oh, babe, oh look, I got you some gym clothes, your thighs look nice and neat. Like, girl, you're trying you, to pacify me. What do you want? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You want to go to Target? <laughs> right. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Uh, see, that's manipulating a man to try I'm to get someone to do what you want. Is, isn't, isn't that what y'all want to hear, though? A compliment? Yeah. Hey. When they real. Oh, okay. Not that's when they got an ulterior motive. Yeah. Okay. She's like, oh, you looking beefy. Did you go to the gym? Huzzy, you know, damn, well, I ain't been in the gym in like six months. <laughs> no, like, he girl, didn't say Huzzy. I just woke up from a damn nap. <laughs> yeah, I mean, talking about was I had to gym. With the gym. cold on the side of your mouth, like, uh, what? Anyway, I don't anywho. know. Any, anywho. Mm. Any, anywho. <laughs> don't she has to see it. honesty. Say, so, what's up, God? What are you reacting to? Well, well, we're reacting to a whole bunch of stuff tonight. You know what I mean? We got, we, we got some goodies. We got some goody two shoes for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, so wait, so anyway, drop a like, drop a comment, tell us what you think. Now, man, let's hear your opinion on that. Yeah, let us know. You know, yeah, do, do you know. use some of them tactics on your on your man? You know, and, and fellas, man, you got to start flipping a roll on these women, man. You got to start. Holding they them already back. do. We learned from the best. So, hey, drizzle, what drizzle. do you expect? Where y'all, where y'all think we got it drizzle, from? Drizzle. Where y'all think we got it from? Well, holding something back. Come on, ain't now, just no in man. General. Listen, back in the day, no, men wasn't I'm, holding back no, nothing. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm just saying, where you think we learned how to be manipulative from y'all? Oh, you know you damn wrong. Yes. No, I'm not. Y'all women, the first have been manipul- not- women have been <laughs> yes. manipulating men <laughs> since the yeah, dawn of time. Yes. And so yes. have men. They've been manipulating no. women since the dawn of time. Women started it. Really? <laughs> yes. Okay, let's act, let's go ask Adam and Eve. <laughs> You know what, okay. man? Okay, Come on, bro. Let me turn my back on. Right. Okay, wait, let, wait. But matter of fact, let's go ask Adam and Eve. Who bit the damn apple? To, huh? Who bit the apple and then yeah, made somebody else? Who, bu- who uh, manipulated a- uh, Eve to bite the dang old apple? It was the, it was the serpent. It wasn't the man. <laughs> yeah, but the serpent was a male. It was uh, a male. Uh, 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 it, was, it was a male snake. That's oh gender. God. We're talking about feces. <laughs> <laughs> See how you just tried to manipulate that conversation? Yeah, yeah. right there. Late. Who just tried to manipulate? <laughs> not not yeah, me. I lost my kids. Hey, hey. <laughs> anyway, drop a like, drop a comment, y'all. Tell us what you think. Oh, uh, man, so let's go to video number two. We, number had, uh, two. we are at number oh, two. What? Video number two. Come on, give, give, give us. Oh, Deuce. I was about to ask you what. Deuce. <laughs> she on point tonight, y'all. She on point tonight. All right, so video number two, what we got here. We got a woman explains why men will cheat on a good woman with a hoe. Mm. The good girls is just a cover up. <laughs> It depends on the male. Let's see what she got to say. Okay, let's see what Peanut got to say first. <laughs> it's this John podcast. Oh, let's go. You know what I've come to the conclusion of? Some men will never treat you right because he's attracted to hoish women. These are typically the men that were deep in love with women who cheated on them constantly or was in a toxic relationship where they cheated back and forth on each other. And the good girls he encountered, he messed over them constantly because the good girl is not what he truly wants. After a while, he sees the good girl is boring because she doesn't bring him any problems and he loves the thrill of feeling unwanted and mistreated. And he knows in today's world it's unacceptable to wife a hoe or he get clowned for it, which is why he uses good girls for the image your relationship publicly while privately still dealing with hoes. This is why a lot of men claim they don't like hoes, but will ruin a happy relationship for one. Free game, ladies. Mm. I mean, first of all, <laughs> okay. First of all, mm-hmm. what men was she meeting? You know what I mean? I what mean, men was she meeting? <laughs> is it really that many good men who out there just just tearing? Well, I'm sorry, men are just tearing up good women like that. Well, I, see, this is the difference. See, okay, you got a male, but that doesn't necessarily. He doesn't necessarily constitute as a man. Yeah, okay, and does she so, know the difference between a good man and exactly. just a regular man? So that's where I'm coming from. So yes, there are men that do that. They they'll have a quote unquote good woman, but also at the same time, are they really mature enough to handle that? Do they really want that? Because a lot of times, do they just want to just play? Like, I mean, y'all can answer that better than I can. Like, you know, I'm yeah. on the opposite side of that. I mean, I get what she's saying. Mm-hmm. However, also at the same time. 
these so-called good women they allow the men to keep doing it knowing that these guys is cheating over and over and over again and they keep lying and they keep you know doing the same actions and you keep taking them back that's why they keep doing it yeah like a person you're gonna you, you can only a person is gonna treat you the way you teach them to and if you keep allowing them to cheat on you they're just gonna keep doing it now first of all <laughs> first, uh oh uh oh when did we say we don't lose? <laughs> I don't know where she got that memo from. That, that, wait a minute, that's all you heard, CJ? Well, no, we no, don't no, like no, the hoes. No, we don't <laughs> love the hoes. Right. We don't love the hoes, but never we never said we don't like the hoes. Oh, gosh. So that's number one. Number two, her, what kind of traumatic, unnurtured men does she meet? Because, like, I don't know no men that use the the good women as a cover up because they undercover. They like the hoes because they 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 like the feeling of not being wanted. What? That makes no sense. No sense. If you go to any brothel in America, any uh, bunny ranch, the majority of those dudes are in there is because their woman doesn't pay them any attention. That's why. That's how prostitution and back page. And all these other things started. And then just greedy men joined along. Mm -hmm. But most of that was mm -hmm. because men weren't getting attention. And they couldn't go in the house as a man and say, babe, you're not giving me an attention. Because you know what she would have said? It's shut your bitch ass up. He was talking about <laughs> you on God. So, all right, I got to get it from somewhere else. So that's number one. I don't know who, what men she was talking to. She must be getting men from... I, I don't know Skid Row or somewhere because <laughs> I don't I don't know no oh, men that, that, that act like that that just is yeah. that whole that whole thought process was just dumb I'm just be honest that, that, that don't that don't make sense I don't know where she yeah. got that well, nothing is ever dumb that was her that was her thought dumb. so <laughs> well not nah, well let me for one okay sorry you need for one for one you know I me mean, I like you can tell that that's a pretty young woman you know, she, had she, too much she had too much makeup. She had too much makeup. I don't, I don't, I don't know, know if she was pretty so or not. Does she so look like? I don't know if she was pretty or not I mean, because that makeup is like a transformation. So we don't know. Yeah. What, look, what type of men are she attracting? Because I'm sure the men, the way she looked, the men she attracting All the aren't people. the ones that's looking for wives. Magic City. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They ain't the ones that, that, that look, that's looking for a wife. Because first exactly. of all, her face was so damn pale. And then the look of her neck, it was like a totally it different ain't match. tone. No, at all. <laughs> like, my face match. Y'all see? I yeah. match. Yeah, you match. You match. You black all over. I'm honey. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. Sorry. Brown skin. This my is fault. mocha. This you is know mocha I love here. your brown skin. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, man. <clears throat> so let, let's go to the comment. So the comment, first comment. So she wanted to give it to. No, I'm sorry, I'm reading the wrong one. <laughs> first comment said, "Damn man, please stop with." Oh, wait a minute, am I reading the no, wrong one? You right there. Come oh, on, okay. Lowe's. Come I, on, I, I, you're supposed to be prepared. What would we? Players we mess up. Players mess up. Yes. No, you heard, you no. heard it, man. Players supposed players to be on point. Sometimes. That's why you're always getting caught. Oh, see, see, can I, I just can went I down cut her mic off? <laughs> <laughs> no. I <laughs> right, said, "Damn man, please stop with the attention, validation, likes, views, and listen to these bottom feeders." Damn. Damn. Yeah, you know I mean, the, yeah, he went straight for the juggler. <laughs> I mean, I get it because, like, the one thing about the internet now, the internet, if you have any type of thought and you, you, and, and, and mm -hmm. you think mm -hmm. it, and then mm -hmm. somebody else goes online and says it, now you've created a community of these people who right. think that their thoughts are valid. Right. It's like just because yeah. you say it, that doesn't mean it's, it is something. That's just what it you mean something to that person. No. So just like your thoughts, like if you're thinking something, everyone is 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 has a right to their opinion. But so that doesn't make it valid. Just because you okay. have an opinion, right. just don't make it valid. So a lot of these people go to these platforms so that they can acquire other people who they can coerce to think like this to make their un invalid point seem stronger. And it's like no, it don't work like that. Yeah. Really? Well, you know, I think it falls right in line with this next comment. Mm -hmm. Whole logic. <laughs> <laughs> he said whole logic whole, like H-O-E. got logic. H-O-E? Whole logic. <laughs> You're a fool if you think she what she says is on point. <laughs> but Daddy, you man, and it is really, what, what makes her I, a hoe? I'm, I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to okay. tell you this. I have some friends, and I, I will not put their business out there. Mm -hmm. Some friends who guys who have some wonderful wives. They just goddamn savages. They just want to just hump. Yeah. Who's and, oh, and now that okay. doesn't make them. That, okay. You know, I mean, she's still a good woman, but that's that. I mean, come on, that, yeah, that, that's, see, that's a bad person. That's why I don't understand. Like, why do guys do that? If that's, if that's in your nature, why get married and then you 
mess up your whole your whole life, your your marriage and your family. Your, yeah, like, yeah. Because let, let me ask you a question. Like if you're not ready for it, don't go for it. Let me ask you a question. They only I think a lot of times guys just do it because you don't want to see the woman happy with somebody else. No, nah, that ain't it. They just I'm, I'm, savage. I'm gonna ask you a question. Go ahead. I'm asking T this question. Mm. Oh, okay. If you if you call ten of your girlfriends, cousins, whoever, ten of the closest women, either in your age bracket or even a little younger, whole logic. Whole logic. <laughs> so comment number three. Dead wrong. Good girls start becoming complacent with the box while the man's drive stay the same. I can't. I that, that's not the truth. I, I can't, hell, you, you can't. You can't hell, rock? No. You ain't rocking with that? Shit. I know Come something. on. No, let me tell you something. I'm I'm the type with, I'm kind of high with my drive. And okay, so you got a high I've, sex drive. I've, okay. I've had men that's like, uh, okay. You, you know. make them tap out? Tap out. Damn. Yeah. Damn, you macho man. <laughs> man. <laughs> That boy, that boy roll over. What? That boy roll over. He hears me. He shaking. You know you hear. Stop it! Stop it! Commando. Damn drill. Stop the commando. You like go over there playing with GI Joe? <laughs> Yeah, what kind of vibrate is that? Oh, that's called the jackhammer. <laughs> <laughs> you, you got a handle on that ball. <laughs> Was that that thing that came in that big box earlier? <laughs> yeah. She got it done. Amazon was struggling to get that up the steps. <laughs> Damn, oh, boy, this your pocket. <laughs> well, mm -mm. All right, so, so, so that's BS. <laughs> So you yes, say that, that'd be it. Yeah, yes, I know some is. women that go hard. Yeah, that's Go yes. hard. See, my theory, my motto, come when I come, or come when I come back. What? But then when you come back, it's like, what? I ain't even in the mood no more. Now I'm pissed the hell off. It's like, what the hell was that? Listen, I'm too competitive. Like, what you mean, come when you come? If yeah, I feel, come when I come back. You come when I come, yeah. or come when I come back. If I feel, and, then, and, and then when you when you do it too soon, and I'm just getting started. Listen, if I, that's just the first one. Let me oh I gotta see the first one out the way. No, I'm too no, competitive. No first, if I feel Pierre going left, I'm going. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> no, I can't do it. <laughs> yeah. Pierre start going left. I'm like, uh oh, uh oh. We get to the promise land. I gotta go back. <laughs> abort, abort, abort. Oh I know. my god. Yeah, downtown. Yes. <laughs> oh man, just your podcast. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, y'all. Tell us what you and think. You know what I'm saying? Yes. You know, TB messing, TB messing us up. I don't be doing anything. Yeah. Okay. If anything, I be helping y'all to hell out. Yeah. Oh, I don't yeah. know what I'm doing. So. <laughs> yeah, that's what my ex-wife said. I don't be doing anything. Oh, shh. Cheating Jezebel. Oh, Lord. <laughs> anyway, anyway. He is tainted, you guys. He is level. tainted. Trauma. So any women, my life you about see trauma. those... If any women you see low out in the streets, leave him alone. Don't go near him. Don't get relapsed on. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I like problems. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> All right, look, look. That, oh man, I got the, you know what the hell with that one? Oh, that little monitor. All right, so I gotta see I had a teleprompter, so I gotta read it from here. All right, so video number three. Video number three says a woman got mad at a man for not trying to smash after he invited her over his house. She should be arrested. Okay, yeah, that's what you know she got yeah, Before you say she got to be arrested. I just, oh just offered that. I don't even know. <laughs> hey, how you just like, podcast. you got to hear the story first. Is that Let's what you mean? You just, just. I am the problem. I went on a date with this guy and he was like, it's getting late. Do you want to come back to my place? And I was like, sure, but I'm not going to sleep with you. Like, that's not happening. And he was like, that's totally fine. Just come over. And I was like, cool. So I go to his place, he respects my wishes, he's so nice, he cuddles me all night, and I'm like, are you f***ing gay? Like, what? And like, I, I, he, I just wanted him to like try, and then for me to be like, no, you know what I mean? I wasn't gonna sleep with him, I, but I just, now I feel ugly. This is what, oh my god. <laughs> you Jezebel. She's confused. <laughs> She's confused. She's confused. confused. You know how many times that happened to me in my young my younger years? Because for one, I you and I can hit me with no great charge. And I'm not trying to be me right. too. So oh, you ain't doing oh, we ain't doing it. I'll so turn I my back and I'll go to sleep her. on you. You this yeah. man to play games. You exactly. You done told this man I'm not gonna have sex with you. And he basically respected her, her body and everything. And 
like he was a true gentleman but if he would have tried to do something with her then she would have tried to call him a dog or whatever else so it's like okay it's, it's it's no win it's no win situation right there like oh my god that's just horrible yeah oh my god <laughs> see first of all the minute she told me that she wasn't sleeping with me i would have said cool too yeah, oh yeah it's cool i would have went over to my uh my radio turned on my title or alexa alexa Play Akinelli, put it in your uh -oh. mouth. Put Damn. it in your mouth. <laughs> and I would have that thing on repeat. Mouth. And one of two things would have happened. No, Alexa, don't play that. Alexa, <laughs> oh, oh, Alexa, no. <laughs> Sorry. Don't play that, Alexa. <laughs> I forgot Alexa was really in the building, but <laughs> I would have played that. And either she would have uh, obliged or she would have been so uncomfortable she would have left. Because you've made me uncomfortable now. Okay, mm -hmm. I told you you could come over. Cool, you told me you ain't want to do nothing. All right, good. Now you try and call me gay because I respected your wishes. But if I didn't respect them, now I'm doing 15 to 30. Right. Like, what in the world? This is yeah. the stuff. This is what I'm saying. Yeah, see, that's that mind game that but, she was playing. Like, but, how you going? You can't do that. But to this me. is I what I always like say. When We're all different. But men, 95% of men, when it comes to sex, we're a monolith. We all think the same way. If you want to do it, we're going to do it. 95% of men, I always say, if a woman walked up the street and seen 10 men and said, hey, what's up? Um, you look good. I, I want to see what you what you about. Nine out of 10 men are going to say yes. Whereas if you, if you vice versa, if a man walked up the street and said to a woman, oh, you look good. Ooh, what's up? You trying, you know, do something? Maybe three. So it's like we, you know, men want to do this. So this, these mind games and all of that, it's just too much. It's too we, we, it's too much that we have to do. Too many rules. Again, a man, a, a woman meet a man. Hey, let's go out, have a good time. You go back to the crib. You know, it's, you know, it's a session. With men, it's too much. We got to think yeah, about why this. Why does it automatically? Why does it have to automatically be a session? Like I I'm mean, not saying that it does. I'm just saying if it was to happen, men are not turning it down. Okay. In unison, we we hold the hands, kumbaya. We all in this one yeah. band, one sound. I mean, we it could be wrong, but we could. I shouldn't be doing it. Right, that. right. But that it feels so <laughs> like I don't want me do this. We all in unison. Women, it's too many. You got to think about this and do this. Not mm -hmm. this woman like this, but this woman don't. And these women, you got to do this. She like to go to Cheesecake Factory, but she don't. I got to take a steak forty eight, but this one, it's too many rules now, and it's just like too much to think about. Where we're we're very simple. That's why we say yeah. they say men are complicated. No, it's actually women. They're way more complicated than us. Yeah. Yeah. So look, let's go to the comment. So it was that first comment. So she wanted to give it to him, but he had to act like he didn't, or he had to act like he wanted to. How much sense did that make? That ain't make. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, come on. Now, I mean, because that's about the games that people play. Yeah, that was that was just all four games right there. Like she, yeah. she was wrong. She was totally wrong for that. Yeah. I mean, it got to make you wonder if 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 the video was real. Even if it's not real, it's just it, it, it's shit that happens. Attention. Yeah, stuff like that do, <laughs> do happen. You know, man, like, even, like I said, when I was in my youth, well, girl, but like, I'm like, oh, okay, no thing. I turn I turn my back and go to sleep on you. Not me. I'm going to turn my back, all right? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you going to see my back going out that door because I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. Yeah, but that's your house. She went to and, his house. Well, guess what? <laughs> that's all it is. <laughs> I'm either see yours going out the door or you going to see mine. Or so she, basically, she go, you she going out you the door. you can't tolerate or you can't, you're not mature enough for a woman to come to your house. It ain't mature. Not nothing. It ain't got nothing to do with maturity. So it, basically, in your mind, anytime a female comes to your house, you're expecting sexual in a sexual encounter is that what you're saying no 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 but again if it's past midnight why are you here what you here for yeah. i mean well especially especially if you had already established the, okay you already and, had that and, talk and we, and, you already had that established that because you had this you know discussion of i did make a mistake doing this once before and i had a guy block me because i had a nap you're earlier that blockless. day and i went to his house and we was just chilling we was talking business and everything like that and next thing you know it's yeah, four o'clock in the right. morning he was like all right i'm tired i gotta get up in the morning i'm like all right cool i'll talk to you tomorrow i'll leave halfway up 76 well I, that that was that was my my cue in telling you to stay i'm gonna tell you what his <laughs> problem was 
I'm gonna tell you what. See, his problem was he didn't get straight to the point. I'm like, listen here. Yeah, because it was like we. It, it was no. It was no sexual conversation at all whatsoever. It yeah, was just like regular he conversation. He didn't get straight to the point. You, for one, I, you're not going to hear. I'm right here on the couch. <laughs> we gonna talk about the, business. And, yeah. gonna, and that's what we were talking we, about. We, we, we ain't talking, talking business. Not, not professional. Like, okay, business. I can see if you yeah. were sitting right next to me, but if I'm on this couch and you all we on the other couch, like it was no indication that he was trying to do anything, and neither did I. So it was like, okay, yeah. we're having a friendly conversation. Look, 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 listen. This is what a real man would have did. Real man with a wind bathroom came out naked holding the clipboard <laughs> talking about. So, what do you think about these numbers? Why <laughs> 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 oh, I had my Johnson under that clipboard? <laughs> What's that? He ain't put my dick in the box. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't put no fillers out there. Yeah, you got to feel it like, okay. Come on now. Again, you ain't even got to talk about sex. You could just, it's so many ways that you could kind of put it out there to just see if she going to yeah, take the bait. And yeah, that's his dumb ass. That, 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 that's like why you, you, and for one, I wouldn't have sent you home at 2 o'clock in the morning. I mean, if you was a skeezer, then of course, because I'm sure you probably got other clients. But I would, I'm like, yo, yo, you ain't going to. Yo, Me? yo, nah, you staying right here tonight. You ain't going home no 2 o'clock. It was no 76, no 2 o'clock <laughs> right, in the morning. All right, so the, to, to be, piggyback on that. Oh, he was sassy. I, boy, I, you the woke he up. He blocked me. You the woke up. What are you doing? What are you doing? He blocked me. He had a he had a whole attitude the next morning. I'm like, what the hell is wrong with you? You would have you would have woke up and me me out of you said what? You, you know, oh, you, you need some water, man. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Morning. <laughs> All right, let's, let's go to the last comment. So, last comment was. Oh man, so that wrong. Uh, yeah, biggest ego killer for a woman is when you don't try to smash, especially when they throw it at you. Usually, that's all they have to offer if they think that they can use it as a tool to control you. Yeah, now, so I'm not. Me, I'm the type of person, okay, well, look, if I want it, okay, and, and we, I'm really digging you, okay, then I'll I'll, I'll make the first move. It, it, oh, you'll, you'll wait, you'll take it? Okay. Listen. First move? I'll, I'll make See, the first move. See, that's, that's like, women. Take notice. Listen. Now, back in my, in my backsliding days, when I was uh, president of the F-Boy Club, this was one of my, <laughs> ooh, this was one of my good tricks. You know the word that they throw at us the most? Thirsty. Mm. Well, I was one of the most uh, non-parched men in the world. He said non-parched. Nah, mm -hmm. <laughs> he thirsty. I I would, thirsty. I, no, I would, I would meet a girl, and that's what I would do. I, we would have fun. Ah, 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 cool. Night over, we get to the crib. Now, see, the thing is, the trick to this is you can't stay super late because then that makes it, it, it looks crazy. So if you if y'all out, say it gets to like 130, you get back to a crib, walk her into the crib, or right, give her a little hug, all right, I'll holler at you later. She gonna be wondering, like, damn, he didn't even ask to stay. Like, wonder what that was about. Now she intrigued. But mm -hmm. that second time, <laughs> boy, oh, 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 <laughs> bounce on that. Hey, thing. you want something to drink? Uh, you sure wanna do. Watch your I'm movie? a little thirsty tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little thirsty tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Come quench this thirst. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was oh, one man. of my tactics. <laughs> so listen, man, tell us what you think. Drop a like, drop a comment. And subscribe. Yeah, I mean, you heard the woman. Let's go to video number four. Four. <laughs> you know, it oh. seems unusual that I'm reading it from here <laughs> instead of reading from here. But anyway, anywho. Anywho. Yeah. He said dating is a competition. If you don't compete, you lose. But it goes to the viral, what's it? The viral Way. podcast. I mean, dating is a competition, mm. man. So it's, it could be a physical sport if you know how to act right. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> so meaning we got to fight over y'all niggas? Is that what you're saying? Come Shit. with this javelin. Yeah, yeah. All right. Drizzle, drizzle. <laughs> it's this drum podcast. Oh. Let's go. These white women, they saw the vision. Yep. They like, look, I, I see where this is going. I studied this. Kevin Samuels already exposed how yep. they have courses and shit. Yes. They're reading books and shit on how to get these type of men. They actually work to get these men. They know this is a competition. Yep. I'm going to outcompete the competition and get chose. And this is why they're getting chose. When you talk to black women. They are repulsed at the word competition. Yeah. I tell black women they all the table. fucking time, you got to compete for the man you want. Compete? Ah, oh, he can have that bitch. Well, guess what? That draft so, day, he's exactly having the yes. bitch. Mm -hmm. I just feel like that's just being thirsty. Nah, nah. Go ahead, see that. So, we, yeah, yeah. so I'm going I'm to I'm, I'm make an example. All right, I'm just regular old CJ, right? 
if I want to date, I won't even go as high as Rihanna. If I want to date somebody like, um, who can I use? That's like up there. But okay, say if I wanted to date uh, an attorney, right? This woman probably makes a, a, a nice salary, lives a certain type of lifestyle. I know that definitely the, six figures. The men that she's going to attract are going to be of a certain status. So I automatically have to compete to get her attention because she's seeing a certain type of a man mm -hmm. in her just in her or in her orbit. I have to bring myself up to a certain standard to even be seen by her. So if she's an attorney and she know you know she she lives a certain type of lifestyle, she goes these certain type of places. So again, that we'll use the W Hotel, uh, uh like an espresso martini at the W Hotel is thirty four dollars. The average mm -hmm. person ain't spending thirty four dollars on a drink, but if she's in that environment, I have to put myself in there, and I can't fake it because if I ain't got no money, I can only buy her one drink. So I have to, I have to, that's, that's where the competition comes in. I have to get my life right. I got to get my finances right. I got to get all my stuff together so that she'll be able to at least just see me so that I can mm. compete with the other men. And it's not a, comp a competition of me against him. It's me against uh, being able to be seen by her. That's where the competition is. Because if I'm little Jojo, the rapper, she's not even looking at me. So that's where the competition comes in. And I think a lot of people mm. get kind of misconstrued on that they're like oh, i'm not competing with another woman it's not competing with the other woman but if you know that this man he works in uh he works in a commercial real estate and the women that are in that building are making money and they go certain places and they have certain type of friends and they do certain things <clears throat> he's in that environment if you mm -hmm. hanging out at a uh, night on broadway he you never going to meet him so it's like you have all right, to. So I got a question got for Lowe's. All right. So Lowe's. All right. So as we already know, the, the ratio of men to of women to men is very, very slim. So, OK, it's a whole lot of us. What? Eight seven, women, seven, seven eight. eight women yeah. to one man. So what would you consider competition that let's say five women has to go against to compete with, to get to get your attention? <laughs> it ain't much. It's like I'm only kidding. <laughs> No, so you got no, low standards, is what you're saying? Yeah, that's yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. Truthfully, truthfully, the competition. I mean, it, dating it, it it is a competition because you you're competing with the other person for that person's attention. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So it is. It has always been a competition. You know what I mean? That, that's where the wooing comes. Okay, so is it a competition? Wooed. Even if let's just say y'all cool or and y'all didn't establish or it's like so. Okay, so. If there's nothing established that y'all are trying to be exclusive, why should a woman have to feel like she's competing when basically that's not even in her mindset? Basically, you already gave her the idea like, no, I ain't really trying to do nothing. So basically, she's she's she done fell off. See, then that's what she got to know the signs or she, she got she got she got to know <laughs> that I'm interested in him. He's interested in me. And so I'm competing with those other females that has a little bit of his attention or a lot of, or a lot even of after his he attention. already said well look i ain't trying to be I mean, serious oh, then you have already been excited of the race or so she, just give it up or what she has to do is she has to quietly shoot her shot so like if if you around somebody and you know what they like what they don't like or whatever like i'm gonna say this it might sound a little weird but make yourself valuable like if you know yeah, for, for sure, fact, you got like to. show like put your resume out there. You don't have to say, "Hey, listen, I would I would like to date you." You we no no no, no. <laughs> but just put yourself out there and show. Because again, as men, we catch stuff. Um, some men might act like they don't, but we catch it. All right, I might have said that I don't want to do this, but if you are putting forth the effort, and again, there's a thin line between putting forth effort and being a dummy. Like don't be a dummy. If you yeah. put it out there for a while and he don't catch it, then don't keep doing that. Like, yeah, you're going alone. Yeah, go on about your yeah. business. In the beginning, yeah, put yourself out there. Like, listen, I want to be a candidate because but, men don't yeah. pick it up. It's just but that women, whole, <laughs> what women don't do is they don't put themselves out there. So a man will just say well, that because he might they be don't think it's, probably a, it's a competition. You know, be, yeah, because I guess more so the rejection. And then, you know, once again, you know, a woman doesn't necessarily want to be like one of your candidates. You know, because no, but, but but what what he was saying, what the guy in the video was saying is that it's our black women who don't feel so that they shouldn't compete for a man because they have. But what you've been doing in our generation, 
Everybody competed. Yeah. In every yeah, generation. Yeah. You play yeah. every year. You compete. And you, you uh, like, oh, shit. And most women don't even know that they're competing. Yeah, you're like, oh, I like might, that boy. I'm, I'm going to tell you this, though. The, the truth is you, you got to be honest. Facts. You right, have to be. Right. You got to be truthful you, to the point where you it's just like peeling back a scab. Like, yo, listen here, baby girl. I'm on you. I'm interested in you. Where's it going to go from here? But a lot of guys don't do that I, I because they still got that. I, like, oh, I don't want to close. She might. They don't she do might, that. She and might the sad part about it is, is they, they don't she might leave you, me alone. They don't tell you that they interested until after the fact. After you don't move the hell on, then it's like, well, damn, why didn't you say something? Maybe I would have stuck around and you know probably tried to you know work something out. I think I, so. I, I do agree with that. I just think one instance why that. men don't do that is because I feel like some men tell women that and then. The moment they tell her, yeah, I'm feeling you, then it's boom. Oh, we in a relationship. Like, whoa, wait a minute. What? <laughs> well, look, I, I, just, I just was saying <laughs> that I'm feeling you. Uh, I, why are you asking me for a key? We, I just oh my said God. this 10 minutes ago. <laughs> he said a key. So it's like <laughs> some men feel like it's, it's yeah. a little bit too much because then here comes the real, all right, well, when we when, when we going to be boyfriend and girlfriend? When we moving in? When we get married? It's like, slow down. I just said I'm feeling you. Like, yeah. calm down. So I think that's why some men don't do that. But I agree. That at that moment, yeah, you should tell the woman. I think that most men should just say, if you're dating other women, to just figure out which one is the one for you. Just tell the woman, hey, you know, I, I'm dating. I'm dating. You don't have to tell Point her how many. Right. Just tell her I'm I'm dating right now. I'm just dating, and I'm trying to figure yeah. out. What yeah, because I my do. thing is, it's like, and I know a lot of times, and you know, guys, y'all, know, I know y'all have this problem okay. a lot. These women, they say that they can accept or take honesty, but then a lot of times they don't. So I'm the type of woman, I don't mind the honesty. Just tell me so I can choose like on, you know, on what's going on with my life and your life and we can just do whatever. But a lot of women, you tell them, oh, yeah, I'm dating. And then the next thing you know, they 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 just like flipping. Oh, you you dealing with this. Bitch. So, you know, <laughs> like cuckoo, bro. Yeah, yeah. Right. Well, let's go to the comment. All right. So first comment, I'm not competing for a goddamn thing. OK. <laughs> and that was from a woman. Go I said, that's what I was talking about. Some of the, some of the women they feel that that they shouldn't have to compete for a man. Go to that. So SPCA, maybe just take the word competition now. out. That just makes it seem like it's like a game. My well, life what is word not, would you, my life would you is not a game. Like but why what, do why do you have to use like the word competition? Like it's a game. My lives are not games. Well, what else would you put there? Because you're you're like like Lo said, you're competing for somebody's attention. So as a man, I know for a fact if I if I go court a woman, especially if she's beautiful. I know there's other guys trying to get her attention. So what do I have to do? I have to compete with them to get the attention away from them to me. Well, how do I do that? Yeah. Being attentive to her, you know, calling her. Yeah, uh, but the, uh, the minute you start yeah, you know, getting that attention, the you, 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 better, you, <laughs> better, you better make sure you use that time wisely. <laughs> Yeah, you be like, you be like, well, I haven't heard from Joe in a minute. Uh, yeah, you won't hear from him in a while. <laughs> Who else you dating? <laughs> Joe went to the upper room. <laughs> All right, look, comment number two. Yup, had a convo with my mother earlier on women only see what we are now and what we can become. So, potential. But potential. also at the same time, it's like, okay, I don't want to get it stuck on a man's potential. I want to see you for who you are right now. Because, yes, I can see your potential, but do you see it? Well, I, I mm. think that in our communities, we see it different than, you know, the uh, European community. I think that they've been building forever and they have all the resources and all these things. So their struggle looks different from our struggle yeah, I, is I really coming that. from the muscle like you don't have anything so it's hard to see until just, you get there yeah it's just different yeah. it's not, and it's not it's not really anybody's fault black men or black women it's just more socioeconomic things that cause those 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 like rifts comment so i had a woman tell me she didn't she don't compete but wanted me to outdo another man she was seeing so i let him have her and she chose wrong exactly see what i'm saying that's just like yeah, the last so girl like, so that uh, that just doesn't make sense so you're not going to compete but you want him to compete uh, so make up your mind who does that she sound sounds like? confused like, oh who was just confused in the last video that was a woman right <laughs> no disrespect but um disrespect really <laughs> <laughs> listen no disrespect but i'm gonna hit you with the disrespect <laughs> listen drop a like drop a comment y'all tell us what comment. you think and subscribe this your podcast man all right, so we go to video number five, number man. Five. Video number five. T, what's five in Spanish? Ask CJ. He the one that knows the Spanish. Cinco. <laughs> Cinco de Mayo just Look, passed. I know deuce. Dos. Who knows? Dos. Okay. Not deuce. Dos. Dos. Oh, Hold my up. God. You should Hold know up. some little bit of Spanish. No, I do not. 
And hey, I should be asking you. Just because my name is Carlo, that don't mean I, hey, I know Spanish. Hey, and not just because your name is Carlo either, but I ain't going to put your personal business out there either. So you was messing with the Spanish mommies? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, like, hey, you know how the saucy? Yeah, I know the saucy. <laughs> <laughs> the saucy your ass right in this bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is video number five. Should the husband be responsible if his wife is pregnant by another man? Okay. Credit goes to I am a dad. Mm. Content creator. Okay. Hey, this is going to be interesting. Start, we should have started with this one first. Podcast. Oh. Let's go. And this is also another thing people do where we talk about being responsible. So sometimes a woman is married um, and they've been separated for a while. She gets pregnant by another man. Her husband is the father. Wait, so I the mean, husband? The husband is the legal father. Not the the baby daddy is the husband on the hook. For that child. For that child. And so you can't even get divorced in Georgia if you're pregnant. Really? Because the Georgia favors legitimate children being married in wedlock, regardless of who put the baby in there. Okay, so you can't get divorced while you're pregnant, which I got. I'm waiting for a couple of babies to be delivered right now. <laughs> that ain't the husbands. We wow. have to deal with it. Right. You know. Um. So. Yeah. You. You can. Husbands, you're definitely responsible for them babies. So how do you go about? I guess getting off the hook when that happens. When, when you're the husband? Yes, ma'am. So it kind of depends um, on where we are and kind of like what the deal is, right? So, because okay. if, if we if we stick into the law, like procedural to procedural, like we got to have that other baby daddy tag into the case, and basically almost like transfer legitimacy. That never happens though, um, because sometimes the baby daddy ain't trying to step up. Like, mm-hmm. That's what I was gonna ask. So I guess yeah. if they deny it, it becomes just a big old problem. Yeah, yeah, it becomes a problem because the court is not gonna delegitimate a child. Oh man, but that's crazy. There's a credit. A I am a dad. Just like I know they be always talking about like what's in the best interest of the kids, but how do you not like? Okay, if the baby, as she says, baby daddy is the actual father of the child and not the husband. Like, how do you not force him? Oh, she's saying the husband is the legal is father. Is the legal father, meaning that he has to be financially responsible for a child that he didn't even br- help bring into the world. Like, that's some crazy crap. And then you can't even go through a divorce until they actually have the baby? Now, I say this. That's why you really need to stop with the, se- the separation. Just if, if if it's over, it's over. Now, you can get legally separated. In some states, you can get legally, you can have a legal separation. Okay, yeah, even with but a legal over, separation, isn't he still responsible based on what she just said? No, in Georgia, yes. Delaware, which is close to our state, we're in Pennsylvania. Delaware has that law. Um, I didn't see where it said Pennsylvania. I believe California has that law. And this is, it's a bunch of, of, and, and of Don't of get other no states. disgruntled woman that don't want to sign a divorce paper. Now you like dragging that on forever and she could be dealing or messing with whoever get pregnant. Right. and then get pregnant but oh, then you man. better make sure you lawyer up and this, then that's what's going to be expensive they, that's what i'm saying that sounds expensive this is the reason why the id channel exists mm. <laughs> stuff like this you didn't already okay just say it's a legal separation okay so we are already separated because we having problems then you going to let another man blow your back out and then be irresponsible to let him go in there raw dog jamal and then you think I'm going to pay for a little, little uh, Travion? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Travion to pass around the other. I'm in different families, boy. <laughs> yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm, all right. You you think so? Yeah, okay. Like, see, this yeah, is... That, that's how the antifreeze started getting in the system because they, they done consuming some antifreeze through the juice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the, why my coffee taste so bitter? Girl, just take one more ship. Just take one more ship. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, I mean, but I mean, it's really. Hey, man. we going camping. Let's go camping. <laughs> but damn. Let's go fishing. <laughs> Let's go on a boat ride. Let's go fishing. <laughs> I mean, oh, so, officer, she she drowned. <laughs> but we're going to save that video. So look, let's go to let's go to the comments of the last video. So it's an, this is an honorless society that no sane man should marry anyone at this stage of the game. But this is why I say, like, women have to band together. If women, if, if women's goal is to get married, they have to band together to stop stuff like this. Because 
with men the way that we think we don't need a hundred uh examples of something you see two hoes everybody in here is a hoe right. that's the way we see it okay we don't need to know it no so it's like okay two of these situations happen okay guess what i'm never doing I'm, i ain't I'm, never I'm getting my married. lesson from that i'm never getting right. married so it's like women need to be like no we got to stop some of this stuff because if you keep scaring the men yeah they not going to be mm -hmm. we already uh what is it like 97 percent of uh divorces and then men paying alimony so it's like but how about those situations when you got the men that's actually having kids with other women while they're married so you know yeah i'm, I'm about to flip still wrong it. still I'm wrong but guess what he's, he's still on the hook for that child right yeah but still i wonder if that maybe that's why women started doing that because it's like you know what if men can do it we can do it too why is that always the, the notion I'm, I'm just saying yeah, yeah we it's all like, do it hey, we do it okay hey. <laughs> Not to say that it's right, <laughs> but why do you? I'm not saying that, that it's right. I I don't do it. But why just, do I don't you, know? You're the let's, spoke, let's, spoke, let's, you're the let's, person. No, I'm not. Women. Let's find a woman that does it. Hey, somebody in the comments, tell yeah, us. Yeah, like, yeah, look, you the Kamala Harris of the <laughs> podcast. So yeah, you got to speak for him. Woman in the comments, if you are cheating, Jezebel, please let oh us know. God. <laughs> <laughs> and send us your Instagram. Please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's, let's go to the next comment. Next comment says another reason why not to get married. Yes, it's scary. Georgia, I ain't going nowhere. I damn sure ain't going nowhere. Florida or California, neither one Stay of them away. He's staying away. I, I don't even want to visit. Georgia now is now on the list. I don't want to go there either. Crazy. So it's like, yeah, that's that's scary to know that. So I got to take care of Travion. I, I didn't create him. I don't know him. <laughs> And now I got to put him on my insurance. Yep. Travion, Travion, yep. Travion in trouble. <laughs> yeah, he is. We <laughs> eating bread and water every night. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so look, last comment. The courts will not bastardize a child. So if a married woman gets pregnant by another man, it doesn't matter. It's the husband's baby. Yeah. Now, I can tell you, right, working in, in the human services field, I've seen a lot of that. And Especially you know, in child, a lot of women becoming responsible for their actions and saying, you know what? I ain't going to force him to take care of this child. Like I would me if that was me, I would be like, you know what? Let me let me. This is not this is not your responsibility. I wouldn't even put that on my husband I because really you're wouldn't. an honorable woman. I just wouldn't do that. Like, yeah. why am I going to mess up your life for something that I did? Let me Google how to fake my own death in a marriage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm getting out of there. <laughs> CJ Moore don't oh, exist no more. more. <laughs> now I'm Ezekiel Smithsonian. Oh, like, but listen, but can you imagine? Can you imagine a woman coming to a man and say, hey, listen, we just found out that this child is not my husband, it's yours. Are you willing to step up and take no, I'm sure a lot of men have said no. Yeah, yeah, meet me down at the uh, meet me on the corner. I no. no, I ain't ready for no kids. Yeah. That's that's your line. Yeah. I ain't ready for no kids. I don't, want, I don't want no babies. Yeah, I shop your club, but uh, right. I ain't sticking around for the for the police to come. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm not gonna get arrested. Man, I ain't getting arrested. I'm gonna get arrested. <laughs> this your podcast. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Boogie, what's good, broski? But look, anyway, we want to thank y'all for joining us tonight. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, even though we had some technical difficulties, we still power through it because we're the shit. Exactly. Yes, we are. This joint podcast. That's what man. we do. You know what Appreciate y'all. Make, Make sure y'all come back. Close to Dark Gable yeah, and sure CJ. Y'all come back and join us next week. Yeah, you heard the woman. You know what I'm saying? This joint podcast. We won't let Pina take us home, man. Hey, Pina, it's this joint podcast. Yeah. Deuces. We love y'all. Peace. Good night. Peace.